All right, everybody. This is a video on what I keep in my toolbox of my 2014 Silverado Z71 four-wheel drive. Uh, this is kind of more than you probably need. If you, the basics to me, the basics. If you want a truck and you're just trying out the basic, get a chain and get jumper cables. That's kind of the basic thing. And all this other stuff is kind of like every situation but i'm gonna go through it as fast as i can to not uh take too long all right so this is a rhino usa uh 10 000 pound safe working load tow rope it's 20 foot long three inches wide 31 000 pound brake strength but you safely 10 000 pounds so that'll pick up two trucks pretty much you know uh jumper cables these are four gauge 20 foot jumper cables uh, they're pretty good to have. I got a four-way uh, lug wrench in case I need to change any uh, tires or anything. These are a little set of screwdrivers. You got flathead, 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 small, you know, lengthwise, two Phillips head. You got just two, uh, it's like a piece of a, a axe uh, handle. And there's like a metal pole. I'm not sure it was in the truck when I got it, but those are just two whatever you know if you need to pretty much beating sticks all those are i got a uh, two and a half gallon gas can just in case you know you run out of gas or somebody runs out of gas you can have that i got a gas funnel which i just saw was like three dollars at walmart i got it it's supposed to be whatever it's not really it's not really much use i don't think i got this funnel for oil or whatever longer funnel uh i got a ball two inch ball your star kit pretty much of course you got to have a pin to go with that uh a hammer for you know well, i mean who don't need a hammer uh funnels these are up uh, i got some shop towels good to have you know checking your old your dipstick wipe that off whatever uh Let's see, let's go this little middle tray. This right here is forty dollars at Walmart. It is a uh, air compressor. So you know, if you have a flat tire, I can change it pretty much. I got the, I got the, uh, I got your lug wrench, your air compressor and light. I got a bottle jack. I got a regular jack. Also a tire kit with a, uh, you know, it's got the little, the little things you stick in the tire. A six ton bottle jack so if you need to jack it up it's always good to have a wooden block you know say you're say you do have a flat and you need to uh need to jack a little higher but your jack can go enough for this put this under there just to give you it's good to have that's four that's a four by four uh little block about a foot and a half long maybe a little less this right here is a uh a 20 foot grade 75 sixteenths uh tow chain uh with hooks it does have hooks on it 4700 pound chain's good to have this right here is uh so you've seen the tire up the chain this right here is kind of quicker so, you know something small lawnmower get stuck a folder get stuck i think it's like 14 foot long it was like ten dollars at walmart it's like five thousand pound you know so good for pulling out ranger four wheel or anything like that i just keep that in the bag uh, these are uh, the little ratchet straps. See right here, two of them. Uh, 5,000 pound brake strength, 1,600 pound working load. And then I got a big one, this 10,000 pound brake strength, 3,333 pound workload. So two little ones and a big one, you know, just in case, whatever. Uh, wooden block and let's see under here i've got you already saw shop towels got a thing of bungee cords see right here you can tie stuff down stuff like that so you know it's like a, it's got a whole bunch of different you know three of these whole bunch of different bungee cords uh this is a rope it's pretty probably pretty long probably like 50 foot i don't know a rope there's another rope 
oh uh, yes yeah, one's 50 foot blah 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 whatever all so two little ropes just for whatever you know tying stuff down it's not that i need those but good to have them if you ever do i got some brake cleaner uh just for cleaning parts stuff like that uh right here i got a bunch of tools that these are all these are all cobalt pretty much except the channel locks right there so three different size just wrenches good to have uh pretty good size pair of channel locks uh and a few other little sets of pliers you know stuff like that needle nose pliers a uh, smaller pair of channel locks two clevises that go with that uh, tow rope and if you do have ratchet straps i would buy some of these yeah, these are pretty cool so say you're say you're tying something down with your ratchet straps and you don't want that rubbing on your strap and cutting your strap up these go on there and the straps slip in there so that protects your straps i got four of those for you know each side uh, extra gas cap that came with the truck uh, like I said, the tire kit. I got some WD-40 because I mean, you know, you you probably might need some of that. Uh, a 25-foot tape measure. This right here's a battery post, a battery cleaner. That's for the post. You take this off, and you, know, you can whatever clean your battery up, just in case. Uh, I got a little flashlight. This right here is white lithium, so it's kind of like spray on grease, and I put it on my leaf springs, so when they squeak, I spray, you know, up under this leaf springs, the shocks, wherever, to, uh, that kind of greases them up so they don't squeak. This right here is just a little rope I have. It's just a little, have it to tie up. Say I'm, uh, you know, I don't want this soft flying around in the back of my truck. I just tie that up with that. That's all that's for. Uh, zip ties, because, I mean, you can fix you know a good bit of stuff with them i think i already showed y'all this but uh these screwdriver set and uh this right here's a little tool kit it's pretty cool has a few little things in it that you might i think it's a pretty good little tool set hyper tough i think i uh i like hyper tough it's pretty cheap and it seems like they're all right tools that right there didn't come with this i just put that in there because it there's a little tool kit, got your, you know, different size wrenches, whatever, everything, which I already have one of those, and the tire kit set. But, uh, yeah, this is, so I got pretty much everything you need. Know. I got a hammer in there. Any situation, you run out of gas, you have a flat tire, you get stuck in the mud, I can about get you out now, inside the truck. That's, that's the toolbox. So if you want to keep going in the video, uh, that's probably $450 worth of stuff in there, but $400 to $450. I've spent a pretty good bit. If you want more videos on the truck, let me know. Uh, but in here, I got a spotlight because, I mean, you know, it's uh, good, to, good to have a spotlight. It was like 50 bucks. One of the best ones is Stanley Fat Max, 2200 lumens. Got this right here. It's another little flashlight. It's pretty bright. I got another one, same one in there. Uh, knife. I got a little taser. Just kind of, I don't know, stuff you might want to keep in there. And here, for work, I got two sets of safety glasses. These are clear for like my grass. These are tinted for, they're still work glasses. They're just tinted. There's a pair of like rubber kind of gloves. There's a pair of leather gloves. And then in here, I got uh, some duct tape. Those are like, that's a little rag. Uh, those are like backup light bulbs for my tail lights because one of them went out and had to replace it. If you raise up under here, I have toilet paper, which you know you might need it. Duct tape, that's a little light, that's another little light, uh, umbrella, and some other stuff to keep my uh, seats clean or whatever. Get my keys, I don't want to lock myself out. But yeah, it's uh, I also have exhaust on this truck. I got a uh, Flowmaster Super 40. That's another video if I make it. Uh, but I do have Flowmaster Super 40 on this truck. And if you don't want to, if I'm actually, I'll start it for you just so, you know, I showed you the toolbox, everything I got on it, pretty much. And the windows are tinted. They're basically, you can't see in them at all. They have an eyebrow also. That's a legal tent in Mississippi. 
but I will. So anyway, I'm gonna start it. That was pretty quiet. Not real loud. It's nice and quiet. Sounds good when you at about 2,000, 2,500 RPM. But uh, there's my video. Thanks for watching.